Hey everyone, here I am in the centre of my home network. I've got a lot of Ethernet ports around the house and a lot of different rooms and they all come back to here into this patch panel which then goes into my Microtech switch and that ensures that I've got a really good local network and everything is connected. Now above here we've got the latest addition. This is my Minis Forum Mini PC. It came with Windows 11 on it, but I've put Linux onto it. It's now running Ubuntu 22. And I'm using this as a crypto validator. So this is running 24 seven. It's a nice little setup, but the only limitation right now is that this only has 16 gigabytes of memory and it's utilizing all of it. So what I'd like to do today is resolve that problem. So this is my Minis Forum Mini PC in all its glory. Quite a sexy little computer, isn't it? Reminiscent of my Mac Mini. So it's the Minis Forum NAE6 Lite. So I brought this up about 20 minutes ago and I hooked up here and I had a look at memory usage. Now, when I set this up as a crypto validator, I was maxing out memory. I was maxing out about 16 gigabytes of memory at all times. So I set up a swap space of about 32 gigabytes, although the resource monitor seems to be showing 34 for some reason. But yeah, I set up a swap space because of that situation because it was maxing out memory. And that's the thing with crypto validators is that the demand for memory and CPU usage will constantly go up and down depending on what's going on on the network. But when I switched it on there, I was surprised to see that only eight gigabytes of memory was being used. But over a few minutes, that slowly increased to about nine gigabytes. And my guess is that if I leave it on for a few hours, it will start going up again. But I just don't want to be in a situation where I, I don't have enough memory, you know, depending on what's going on in the network. So it was important to max out the memory on this. Now this has, an i5-12600H CPU and it also has DDR4 memory. And if you look on the specifications page for the CPU, you'll see that you can max out up to 64 gigabyte of 3200 megahertz memory, DDR4. So that's what I've bought. One of the coolest things about this mini PC is just how easy it is to work with. It's super easy to perform upgrades because Look at this, open the top cover by pressing it with your hands. There we go. Now I can perform an upgrade. And if I bring this up to the camera, you can see that the existing sticks are two eight gigabyte SOD DDR4 3200CL22. So that's the, the two eight gigabyte modules which are in there from a brand called Apacer. Never heard of them, but. Yep, there you go. And looks like it's going to be a super easy upgrade. Now, I could have just upgraded to 32 gigabytes. That would have obviously been a cheaper option, but I decided to upgrade to 64. And there's a lot of different memory companies out there, a lot of different memory modules, both DDR3, 4, and 5. But I just opted for Crucial, and that's the, the model number there for reference. So I just went for Crucial, and one of the reasons is that, yes, there are some gaming brands out there with lower latency, but it really is the law of diminishing returns. I paid £45 each, so £90, but I could have spent £110, £120, £130 on, you know, the gaming brand ones. And even if you're putting these into like a, a gaming laptop, you might only see a few extra frames per second in your game. So you're spending a lot more money for just a little bit more performance. And obviously I am not gaming with this PC. I'm using it more as a kind of functional 24 seven thing. So I didn't need to spend a lot of money to get, you know, the fastest memory out there. I think that this will more than do the job. And I've bought Crucial RAM quite a few times in the past and I've always found it to be uh, quite reliable. I've never had any issues with it myself. So those are the modules there. You can see one of them there if I hold it up. 32 gigabytes, DDR4, 3200 SODIMM, 1.2 volts, CL22. I've pretty much matched what the specs are with the existing memory modules. So yeah, 
I've kind of went like for like. Okay, let's perform this upgrade. Very, very simple. Just pull this out the side. You can lift this out like so. And the same at the bottom. That pops out. That's how easy it is. There's one, there's two. Memory upgrades are always straightforward. You just have to make sure they're aligned properly. And in this instance, we have to make sure that we put in the bottom one first because it sits underneath the other module. So you just kind of slide it in there and then push down and it clicks. And it's the same with the other one. You can see this properly here. There we go, kind of hard, the overhead camera there, but yeah, just slide it in like that, clicks in, and that's it. That's all you have to do. That's all there is to it. And then I can just connect everything back up. So my Minis Forum Mini PC is connected back up. I've connected the keyboard and mouse, HDMI to my video capture card. Ethernet and power. So when I first launched it up there, I went into the BIOS and I can see that it's 3200 megahertz for the memory. And bizarrely, the memory is showing as 65 and a half gigabytes of memory, not 64. Hey, okay, I'll take it. And the other thing that I looked at there was when I first launched it up, I looked at the resource monitor. And the first thing I noticed was that there's a little bit, a little bit more memory being used. But the key thing I did notice was that previously the cache was using about three gigabytes, but now the cache is using way over 24. It just kept climbing up. And if I switch over to it now, you can see that it's currently at 25.1 gigabytes of cache memory. So that's really good. So it does look like I'm not utilizing a lot of memory here, a lot of the memory that I purchased. But as I say, the network. Uh, demands can go up and down and what's clear here is that now I have a lot of memory to be able to use for cache which will hopefully reduce errors ensure that this keeps running all the time so yeah very very happy with the upgrade this has been a very simple upgrade obviously you know adding memory to a laptop or a mini pc like this it, it's just so easy to do but it's very rewarding as well and you do greatly improve what your computer can do so thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at me upgrading my Minis Forum Mini PC. My Mini PC which now has 64 gigabytes of crucial memory. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a, a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you've got any questions, please do post them below. And until next time, take care.